Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of the SUP Podcast. I'm one of your hosts, Luke Trevisi. Back at it again. New setup. Got the Supreme mic showing. Just let you guys know, I paid a lot of money for that. It's very stupid. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> with my co-host, as always, to my left, I got Chris Cheney. What up? And to my right, I got Lawrence Deloach. Hey, happy Sunday, fellas. What's up, guys? It's holiday season. We're in it. We're, uh, we're getting through it right now. We're, uh, we got a bunch of stuff coming up today. Uh, to talk about, we got dunks. We got NBA's back already. Didn't feel like it left, honestly. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then yeah, it was we got- five days ago that we had the finals. Now it's like new yeah, season. It, it feels like a month ago. Yeah, exactly. We were just we were sitting in our seats watching LeBron win a win the championship, and uh, now we're already back at it. We're already back at it. It's very. I'm very excited about it. We've also got uh, pretty exciting stuff. Year in review of Travis Scott. Something else we want to get into today. Uh, but first off, we got big SB news. Sean Cliver's coming out. Uh, guys, did you see these shoes? Of course I saw them. Uh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Cliver's, ha- Cliver's having a great year, man. He's, uh, you know, in terms of well, Strange Loves, uh, which came out in February, uh, top three SB of the year. And now we're getting the holiday uh, Cliver uh, sneaker. Uh, uh, Luke, you told me earlier, you said, what, is it, what does it have a feel like? What does it look like to you? Like a... Uh, it looks like a Homer. I was saying earlier, like the Homer Lowe's mm-hmm, from mm-hmm. way back in the day, except with more. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, I see that. Where do you, where do you rank these? How in terms of the hype? Do you think the hype is going to be like it's going to be crazy for these, or you think it's going to kind of be it's going to be big? But how big do you think it's going to get for these? I mean, I it's going to be up there. With the rest of them, I don't know if it's going to be chunky dunk hype, but that's going to, I mean, it's a dunk. So 2020 dunk, you automatically get a grade hype. I don't know, bro. People were, so when the Strange Loves came out, there was like a, a sample blue colorway. Mm-hmm. And this kind of has like, the more I look at the material up close, it kind of has a lot of similarities to the, that Strange Love kind of suede. So I was thinking like, this is like kind of a shoe we've been kind of teased with since the beginning of the year, just not in this exact iteration. So I'll say, you know, there's going to be a lot of hype behind this also because strange loves just did so well. Yeah. I think, I think we, we're not going to, obviously they're not going to be at the level of a, a, a Travis Scott or a chunky donkey or even, or even strange. Love. I think they will be like somewhere, you know, obviously in the middle uh, it's the holidays. So obviously people are, are into trying to spend more money on dunks and dunks are like you said they're at they're at a fucking high right now so i i think they're going to be obviously tough to obtain at retail that's every dunk of of 2020 so far but uh, i'm definitely looking forward to these if i can get these uh for a personal pair they will definitely be mine Ooh, i think this will be is this going to be lawrence's last episode with i mean not last episode last cop of the year uh i got this cop of the year and i got um I got the, the, the Kobe Grinches. So let's, let's try to get those out the way. Get those two out. Let's get those two W's, man. Uh, earlier you were talking about Travis Scott. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And uh, what, uh, what a year that guy has had, huh? It's lit. What a year. Crazy year. And you know yeah. what he's doing now? You know what he decided to do? He was like, oh, you know what? It's 2020. I, I, I did a McDonald's collab. I did, I did a... Uh, a, a fucking a PlayStation collab. I'm gonna end the year with a motherfucking candle, cause that's how you do it, baby. He, I told you, he's a true Kardashian, man. He's he's fucking maximizing his sales and his, his money everywhere, man. That's a that's a Kylie move right there, bro. That's the big Kylie. Move. If anyone has that candle in their house, I'm leaving. Why? I don't want I don't want no Travis Scott candle scent. It goes back to what we were talking about uh, when Rob was on, where it's just like, you know, with, when he was talking about the Versus tee, you see anyone wearing that Versus tee, you kind of know, like, all right, you don't know what's up. You buying Travis Scott's candle? I'm cool with you, bro. No, I disagree. But you know, you know what this shows? You know what this goes to show me about Travis Scott? That it's like, corp- he's like corporate. You understand oh, what I'm saying? Like, it, yeah. it's so, if, if, you're, if you're a corporate uh, if you're a corporation, you say "fuck it." We're gonna go to Travis Scott for for the promotion. I mean, it, it's in, it's insanity right now when Sony's reached out and McDonald's and and Nike's coming to this guy. Fortnite, the kid did a Fortnite concert. Dude, I forgot about that. That was crazy. 
What Dude, did Luke? No, you seriously, see- you went like <laughs> you like went through space with Travis Scott. Uh, you fought a Terminator version of Travis Scott. It was incredible. Mm-hmm. It was in- truly an incredible experience for all. Luke, what did you say to me when we were talking about it in the group chat? You were like, you were like, he makes it okay for everyone to have bad handwriting. Yeah, that's right. So, so if you look at the picture, <laughs> like if you look at the merch, uh, you the first thing that Cheney pointed out when he showed it to us was how bad the handwriting was on it. And I'm saying, as a guy who has terrible handwriting, uh, that's the dream come true. So, I think that that's on brand with who Travis Scott is. I mean, he's the awkward kind of, you know, when you he, like an introvert. He's a, he wears brown, like, you know, this is like weird handwriting shit. Like that's who Travis Scott is. Yeah. I mean, he also, uh, and then we also have this Forbes article about all of the money he made this year. Yeah. Forbes is dry snitching on him real bad, but I mean, that's a lot of money. Why, why are they dry snitching, Chris? What are you talking about? Cause they're saying how much money the guy made. I mean, it's public record, bro. This is stuff that, you know, like. We we know this. I mean, it's just it's just crazy to see how in, in a, it's a in lot a six, in a six or seven year span how big Travis Scott has become. Yes, I will say that. But I mean, we're talking. You know, he's he's generating ten. I think he has a ten million dollar contract with Nike in terms of what mm-hmm. he's bringing in. We're we're talking about the McDonald's deal, the Fortnite deal. Like these are all huge deals that you don't see many rappers obtain. Well, he really is a Kardashian. He's got pearls on in this picture. Whoa. Travis, Whoa. Travis, the fucking guy. I mean, he's the guy like we, we always talk about. He's bringing the SBs. I mean, you, if, you, if we looked at, I don't know if you saw the, the sneakers, uh, the episode five or of the, uh, the story of the dunk, but they implicitly stated that Travis Scott is the guy who fucking has made SBs a, a wave again. Yeah. Yeah, he definitely he definitely helped. I mean, it also helps that his music is good. Yes, it does help that franchise slaps. Now let's let me ask you a question: Is twenty twenty one will it be bigger than twenty twenty for him? I would like to say no. I feel like there's not many other places he can go. But every time I think that. You know, he has like this other ridiculous collaboration where I'm like, how the fuck? Like, really? I thought he was done with McDonald's. And then he's like, yo, I got PlayStation, though. And I'm like, mm-hmm. wait, yeah. what do you get? You know, and then we, there's already been a bunch of brown, uh, boundaries broken, like with Virgil doing the car, which set up Kith doing a car. So, like, we might have a Travis car. You know what I mean? Like, what if he does some shit with like Six Flags or some shit where now you have a whole camp? Like, he had Astro World too. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. yeah. Literally, this guy doesn't even, he just looks at shit and goes like, yeah, I'm just going to make that brown and write on it. Oh, my God, dude. I mean, are we going to get a Trav, are we going to get a BMW Trav? Uh, Yo. A Bentley, a Travis Bentley? What do we do? What's next? What, wait, what did he pull up uh, to the McDonald's in? It was like a McLaren or some shit? I think so. I don't remember. Yo, a Travis got McLaren, brown? Uh <laughs> <laughs> he got the he got the fragment treatment now where he can just make everything brown and write on it. We know. That, oh, we know. Buddy. Trust me. So he's I mean he's a corporate Damn. he's the corporate guy, man. And and we uh, as entertainers we can all I mean I don't know if you guys aspire to be a corporate uh guy, but you know, let's let's get all the free Nike's we can because we're striking out on sneakers. And uh guys, the sneakers app is I mean they're putting out a lot of shit for the rest of this month. It's Christmas month. Uh, the, the first thing that we see is Tuesday. Uh, the J Balvin's are, are releasing. Mm-hmm. And I'm, I'm pretty excited for that. Yeah, you're, uh, you're into those? Are you going to get them and then wear them? I'm excited to try to resell. Oh, okay. I was about to be like, Lord, it's my guy. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm excited to resell those. I don't, it is nothing that, I mean, I see how, I like Nike, what they're doing right now. They're pushing, I don't know if you saw, but they're pushing every, like, all the Nike influencers, the Nigel Sylvester's is wearing them, the fucking Dion points from Concepts, the, uh, you know, everyone, like, they're giving them to all the Nike guys to try to hype them up. Mm-hmm. But people are seeing right through them. I mean, it's a fucking colorful Nike sneaker that is just, ugh. Uh, it's a lot. I mean, we tore it apart last episode. Uh, I mean, like, it has to be just something he wears as stage wear. There's no way. I did see um, people were, were, like, skating in some shit, uh, which was, uh, like, okay, like, as a skate show, like, all right, if you're going to beat him up, wait, cool. 
skating in, in first of all, you're skating in Jordan ones. Second of all, you're skating in canvas Jordan ones. Yeah, no. So it's, it's a obvious marketing ploy. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just be like, all right, here, skating them. But like, I don't even mind. I mind that less than actually just wearing them to like wear. But, 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 okay. But in, in hindsight or, you know, back in the days, people used to skate, people skated in Jordan ones. That's yeah, why did. the dunk, that's why the SBs became so, the you dunk, know, yeah. yeah. So, I mean, the, people, it's pretty much a lot of the same tooling. So, um, sure. I, I mentioned that I do want to, obviously I do want to get these so I can resell them. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's been an interesting, uh, few months for reselling, y'all. Yeah. No. Yeah. A lot of people trying to get uh, stuff for their, you know, significant other gifts like that. You know what I mean? Like I, I, I told you guys, uh, I was going to st- sell some stuff on Poshmark. I took all the pictures. I haven't sent them up yet, but I told my other friend, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna sell the shit on Poshmark. He sold five sneakers in one night. Really? Yeah. Really? On Poshmark. What, oh, what really? I'm noticing is what I'm noticing is like um, right now, obviously with everything going on with COVID and, and I think we've discussed is that people aren't, willing to pay as much as they were uh as opposed to when those those checks were coming in and people you know had money oh. so it's very yeah. interesting to see i i've noticed a, a drop already on the j balvin mainly because i think they're ugly but two i think people just don't you can't you can't spend 800 900 on every sneaker that you miss yeah Let's yeah move. <laughs> i, I <laughs> I, uh, I, yeah, I was just thinking about how uh, I was looking at some prices online for like SBs even, which mm-hmm. are, you know, the hypest shoes of the year. But like, even then, a lot of those shoes are actually going down in value. And which makes me wonder, like, is the resale market just for like, it's just for personals? Like, and like thinking maybe like everybody's not buying for themselves right now. So they're like all buying outside. Cause like, I don't know if I would expect my significant other to like spend a lot of money. like if my my significant other was like oh i want i want shoes like uh, do you what kind of shoes do you want i'm not going to tell them the strange loves because i don't mm-hmm. want them spending a thousand dollars on shoes mm-hmm. you know wait this goes back yo lawrence remember when we were in stadium goods and we were filming the, that thing and i saw my friend there yes so this this is exact this goes right to this so her boyfriend at the time but just to wait hold on just to recap and remind everybody, me and Lawrence did a uh, thing for CBS Sports at Stadium Goods. So we were filming there uh, with uh, a whole crew and shit. I see my friend. This is when the elements were popping. I think with the element 85s or whatever the number it was, those like those Nike. Eight, like, 80, 87s, I believe. 87s, that's what it was. Yes. So those were like peaking. Those were like top hype at the moment, whatever some of that was. And my friend came in. She was like, oh, my boyfriend wanted these. I want to buy them for him. I'm like, really? You're going to buy them? She's like, yeah. Well, like, what's the big deal? And she goes to the counter, like 400 bucks. She goes, oh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, that's why you can't. You're going to buy him $400 shoes? like, no, nah, I'm not doing that. So, yeah, this is exactly the thing. No one's buying that. No one's spending that much money on someone else when they could have, like, another. You know what I mean? Interesting. Mm-hmm. I think we just found the seasonal market of sneakers. Which like, is crazy because this is when you should be spending the money on the sneakers. It's a gift. It's a holiday. Well, like, we're also, like I said, we're also in a, a, t- a dark time, man, you know, in terms of, you know, where people don't know where money's coming from. So I think that right. also is going to, you know, is going to cause some people not the sneaker market to not as to fl- not as flourish as it should normally, you know, in this time of the year. Yeah, true. So, and when you look at all, like, when you look at everything that Nike's been like, they're hammering, they're, they're hammering so many releases this month and granted everyone that you're not going to hit on everything but you look at it like uh, we've always said like you're going to take your j balvin loss on tuesday but then wednesday morning you're going to have a shot at the iowa uh uh dunk highs mm-hmm. yes 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 which i'm I, you know i i think you know you have those the michigans the michigan states the college colorways and i think these are probably one of the the best colors uh of the college highs we've seen them obviously we we also associate them with the wu-tang colorway mm-hmm. i remember being uh, a kid in like high school and like i had i had the sweden dunks uh which is like that royal like that like, like that blue and like yellow swoosh on the dunk mm-hmm. and i remember seeing a kid in the wu-tangs and i remember seeing him every day just beating them up and i was like i i wish those were mine 
and this is finally my chance to be that kid. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to it. So Luke, let me ask you a question. Like out of out of a lot of these releases, are the two releases so far are the J Balvin's? You don't want those for personal. No. But the Iowa's you would keep for a personal. Iowa's I'd keep for personal because Iowa there's like for one thing, just I I love those like original those are dunks those that's what brought me into sneakers to begin with. So like anything in that silhouette, I'm pretty much a sucker for. And then uh, secondly, that looks like a, another good shoe that you'd be able to beat up. And I, I just I enjoy having like a nice pair of like beater shoes. Chris, yeah, I, I can get with that. Um, no, similarly to what uh, Luke just said, that's kind of like on the nose. And you're not even a fan of yellow. I know we talk about this every time because I can't believe it. Not a fan of yellow. That that yellow ain't like the banana yellow though, and the color blocking is nice on it. Like the it's not overwhelming. My issue with yellow shoes is that sometimes you just look like you have bananas on your feet. Like an all yellow shoe is tough. Yeah, Hey Arnold did it though. Tough in a bad way, not in a good way. Yeah. All right, so we have uh, so speaking of, of dunks that are coming out, we mentioned the Iowa uh, ambush is uh, we finally we've seen pictures, uh, we've seen these being teased. They're finally releasing on Friday uh, in the white and black colorway. Yeah, uh, there's good also colorway. a fuchsia color, mm -hmm. uh, all fuchsia color. But I actually, I'm a big fan of those. The white and black, the something about the the tooling and and the blog, the color blocking of it. I fucking hate these. Well, the the heel tab is weird. So. Yeah. It's like the, the back of the shoe is kind of like hanging off itself, which is really weird. It like, it doesn't make a lot of sense. Let's give me this one better picture. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. So like the fact that like, there's like so that plastic piece is weird, but then if you go back up to the side view, you could see that like the, the bottom like panel is like off the shoe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's really weird. I, I agree with you, Lawrence. Although I'm not mad at the black and white one. Like it is a little extra. It's yeah. definitely like if this is being loud but quiet at the same time. This is a silent but deadly shoe. Dude, these, you know, you know what these are, and I haven't brought it up in a while. These are AVG shoes, if I ever seen them. Yeah, pair. these are. This is a very Asian shoe. This is a very no. This is not an Asian shoe. This is an ABG shoe. Asian baby girls only, man. Asian baby girls. Huh? <laughs> I I love when Luke says it. It's fucking hilarious. Asian baby <laughs> girls. Asian baby girls. <laughs> So shout out to all the ABGs out there for Luke. I'm, everybody's winning. I'm, <laughs> we're going to bot it up. <laughs> Hook up all my girls with their pairs. I, I, think, I do think this is a sneaker that does work well in a smaller size. I yeah. think as you get into bigger, you know, I think a, a 11, a 12, I think that's when it will look goofy. But if, like you said, Kurt, I mean, Luke, if, if, if you get these in a size four or five, I think they're a they're great sneaker for women. Clean. Can't wait to see PJ Tucker playing in those. Are you guys gonna try to cop a pair for yourselves? I I like I said I like the uh, the fuchsia pinkish colorway. I do not right. like the white and black at all. The the fuchsia for some how is more wearable. Yes, you it think? is. It's, it's it's extremely more wearable because of the blocking, the way the blocking of the color is set up. Let's the black and white one is like so. If like you're already doing too much wearing these anyway, so like. Right. If you go all the way, then yeah, it works. But like the subtlety of the black and white, it's like you're trying too hard, but you're not trying that hard. It's a weird middle. Yeah. Like just go all the way with it. Get the fuchsia and then like just get like a pink tee and then like you good. And you saw the resale. Uh, uh, who are you? Who are you, you saw you the resale on? on these right now, right? <laughs> yeah, I am Cam. <laughs> <laughs> so just get a pink t shirt and a pink fur and then like a pink bandana with the pink. <laughs> oh, yo. yo. I mean, you guys know me, and I'll fucking. <laughs> uh, to to all of our our listeners, we do have a Discord. You should join our Discord, and you should help us uh, get Cheney these fuchsia dunks, yes. so that we could see this outfit happen. Yo, we do the photo shoot with Hip Laura again, and I do a whole, <laughs> whole yo whole Cameron style ambush fuchsia, bro. So wait, so fuchsia. wait, L Lawrence, you you're Jim Jones. Okay. And then that me that makes uh, <laughs> am I am I Jin? You're Joel Santana. I'm this Joel is sub, Santana. This is subset. <laughs> well, no, we can't do all subset. It's just you. You gotta be Cam. That's it. You gotta be Cam. That's it. 
I'll for some be reason, us dressing be, up as Dipset Jen. is so funny. <laughs> Dude, I can't just that imagine it, guys. Oh, you got to get the um, you got to get the uh the American flag supreme jacket, Luke. Yes. <laughs> Now, now we're getting now we're fall, now we're flying off the rails. Yeah, I know. Speaking Lawrence of, has to get true allegiance too. But yeah, right, keep going. Speaking of, speaking of Supreme, uh, see how I just fucking do this. Uh, the box <laughs> logos uh, came out. The Krogos, as many people uh, mm. have called them, they they were released this Thursday. Uh, and to I mean, obviously it's the box logo, so people are going to, you know, they're going to go crazy for them. But I think the resale on those and are it's not as great as it should be it's extremely low that's a good thing isn't it yeah i mean if you're for if you're trying to purchase yeah if you're a reseller obviously you're like fuck these are you know i'm not doing well on on the resale here but um lawrence you might be able to attest like what the prices usually are when these drop but right now the gray cross box logo is at 516 on StockX. what do they normally go when they drop like right after the gray uh an extra large <laughs> yeah the lowest axis 516 uh i mean you know what that's that's where it seems like it's been these last couple of uh box logos i mean the bandana box logo i think i sold mine for like i think like six and some change and and this is like right where it's at. I think now is the, once they come in because remember they released on Thursday, so people haven't even gotten their, their right. box logo. So when they come in, I mean it's going to drop even more. So I mean uh, ideally, I mean if you can strike at you know I would say four hundred. So if, you know I think that would be an ideal price. But you're saying this is generally lower than the rest of them have been lately. It has that lower feeling. Okay, so let me so what let me phrasing, ask. Hold on, what a phrasing for that! It has that lower feeling, because it, <laughs> it does. It does. It does. So it, wait, so let me ask: is, is, Do you think it's lower because of the cross, like a religious reference? People are kind of like, I don't know about that, or is it because of the they just sold again? Like, do you think this is a a ripple effect from the selling? Well, I think I think a lot of times it all depends on the box logo itself. I think the cross logo was not. Uh, highly regarded by many people but people are always like it's another box logo and i collect box logos right but um you know like i said every time supreme does some type of you know out there like the bandana box logos you know people you know there were certain colors that you know the gray and the blue one because people you know that's a popular bandana but a lot of them weren't you know weren't tr like truly liked and i think the cross logo a lot of people were like this shit is horrible Right, and we're getting to that point where Supreme just kind of is like, "Fuck it, I'll you know we'll do whatever we want to do," but it was not liked, and I think that's why. And obviously, we're in a pandemic, so people aren't going to spend eight hundred dollars on a hoodie. Just it's just not going to work right now. Right, it's interesting. I personally think that it's because the consumer base is losing faith in the pro in in the in the brand, I guess, because yeah. of the. I think we'll like. I think these might go back up at some point, but it's not going to be for a while. Yeah, I don't think they're going to go up I, for a little, I mean, for a little while. And, and I think a lot of times now, if you are purchasing a lot of uh, Supreme or, or anything, I think you have to be able to, to hold off for a year. Yeah. If you can hold off for a year, then I think you can kind of, you know, maybe make a little, but a lot of people aren't willing to hold that long. No, they want the drip now. Yeah, of course they want the drip now. Speaking of drip, boys, do I have some great news for you? <laughs> I know that the listeners have been hungry for for new merch from us. They've been clamoring in the Discord, which you should join, which is in our bio. Mm -hmm. uh, they've been clamoring. They were a little like, Luke, we, we need more merch. And you know what, guys? I hear you. I'm ready to deliver. <laughs> uh, this is a little thank you from us to you guys. Uh, it's a, it's a little presentation I call Chris is good at making decks, but I'm better. <laughs> Asterisk pause. <laughs> What's the pause for? Bro, I don't know. I just don't like talking about decks like that. <laughs> <laughs> now, this is a reference to an earlier episode this year with Holland Fark. Uh, uh, ho Holland Smith. Holland Smith. I knew that. The guy Holland, he works at the network app. Um, so if... You raffle goers, you know of network. 
Yeah. And uh, he mentioned that Chris was very good at making decks. I have been known to make a good deck, yes. <laughs> so I just wanted to just remind everybody that Chris is good at making decks. But like I said, I am better. So let's sell some merch, baby. Let's, let's get right into it, shall we? Shall we, boys? First off, I'd like you to meet Umber- Alberto. Now, you see, Alberto, he, was recently, he recently moved from Spain to a small town in Northern Ireland. He's a little boy. You can see he's, he's got a little his soccer ball. He feels a little lonely. And he loves SUP Podcast, a streetwear and lifestyle discussion, but doesn't have enough merch. Can we help Alberto, guys? <laughs> I think like we can. We should be able to, yeah. Bong, first tee we've got on the docket, the LZD325 licensing t-shirt. <laughs> licensing. <laughs> Licensing. Everybody, licensing. Know, everybody knows the story behind this t-shirt if you're a fan of the podcast that's right uh, it's a great reference to an early episode where lawrence just couldn't say the word <laughs> i still can't say licensing he really can't it sounds like it's never mind go go, keep go. licensing 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 <laughs> licensing it's like lawrence is at a um a, a, a chinese restaurant he's Yo, low key, to, i don't know if i should be offended right now he's That's trying to put, say, it's chris, like at the no chris, he's like at the menu chris, he doesn't know how to okay no, chris, i know don't ruin, like don't, saying, don't ruin this moment okay don't okay ruin this moment chris no it's not ruined not ruined <laughs> keep going right. yeah, don't take my moment bro licensing so, obviously we've got this we've got this ldd325 licensing shirt and you know it's pretty cool but yeah i thought to myself you know it'd be wild bong if it was a little bit sideways to let everybody know that we're we're wild and crazy guys <laughs> that i mean listen guys i these are just these are just the blueprints right now like, i think i think what we should do and then i think on the back what would be dope if, if we actually like like spelled out licensing like how i sounded out like li- licensing. Oh, like a little <laughs> yeah this is why we do this, this licensing do this, boys we put a little uh, uh what do you call it phonetic spelling of it there you yes. go that's Bong. right. Perfect. And then I'd, uh, now that we've got that out of the way, I'd like you guys to meet Marcos. Wow. Uh, Marcos, as you guys know, uh, he's also a listener of the podcast. He recently opened up a camera shop near the Lou in Paris. Is he with the Woo? No one knows. Uh, he loves Kanye West, Talladega Nights, and Sub Podcast. As you can see from this little bubble here in the corner, uh, I ask everybody, do we have merch for him? And ladies and gentlemen, we do now. Boom. <laughs> now, this is, a, this is an inspiration from a, a Chris Cheney quote, uh, which is a quote of a quote of Kanye West <laughs> from The Gap when he, uh, when he announced that he was working for The Gap. He said, I don't know what to do with my hands. Love easy. And then Chris brought up that it was actually a scene from Talladega Nights. Mm-hmm. So I said, boom, front Talladega Nights, back Kanye quote. Genius. I'm a fucking genius, guys. Look, you're crushing it right now, buddy. I really am. A little, we could throw a little sup podcast uh, logo on the bottom. Mm-hmm. We could throw, you know, like all of our, the rest of our T-shirts do, which can be found at RememberToBeHappy.com. Uh, <laughs> My favorite thing is you're using two different cats, but keep going. This is great. I love this. Bro, I'm amazing at this. All right. This is incredible. Let's get back into it. I just wanted to see everybody's faces, make sure everybody's still with me here. Well, I want I want all of our listeners who listen to this on the podcast to go to uh to watch this uh, clip online because you can actually see the visuals with it. So so oh, yeah. got it. A lot of people who are listening right now, they may be a little lost, but you need to watch this uh video. <laughs> this is art. We're, we're actually what we should do is we should fucking we should put this uh clip up uh on, online on on youtube so our, our instagram social media so people can see it because i think yeah. this is fucking amazing go ahead keep going Luke. all right thank you very much lawrence i'm going to continue my presentation now we've already seen this shirt the talladega knights kanye west t-shirt but we've got more we've got more coming a simple gesture boys coaches gary and glenn knew no Spanish whatsoever, but they did know English and they did listen to some podcasts. They built a strong bond by saying the duck is cold to each other. Uh, well, everybody knows, of course, the duck is cold is a reference to a very early episode, my first episode on when Chris Cheney said the duck is cold. And uh, it was an ironic thing about how catchphrases, it just wouldn't work. And I said, you know what? We should fucking make merch out of it. So right here, I have the, uh, the duck brand logo flip. Uh, it's just a drawing uh, because I couldn't actually do it in Adobe Illustrator. I don't know how. <laughs> uh, so as you can see, 
I've got a I've got a little duck with a with a little snow cap on, and he's got a little little scarf, and you can see he's cold, and it just says duck, <laughs> <laughs> just like the duck brand logo. Maybe if someone with more uh, uh, illustrating skills, maybe if we had a designer on the podcast, a little boosting <laughs> him up, you know, we could uh, we could get this shirt made. I other oh, have no. other options as well, though. <laughs> so this one, this one is a, a flip of the Mighty Ducks logo. Right. I took the I took the icy the hockey mask of the of the Mighty Duck. I put little icicles on them, and this is this is a little nod too. This is a little nod to our year that we've had. Little Jason Voorhees stripes on the mask. <laughs> little nod to Warren Lotus. That's a bootleg of a bootleg of a bootleg, my friends. Damn. This is Bro, getting I'm just mad bootlegging meta. left and right. Hell yeah, dude. Option C. Uh, Chris has very unique handwriting, and I was trying to get it as like a as as a text option to like actually put it on a T-shirt, uh, but I couldn't do it, so I just used my handwriting and uh, <laughs> said it was Chris's. Uh, you know what's funny is Lawrence is actually the one who said it. That's no, you no, you were the one that you said he said it, and then I forced it to be a joke. I like oh, he I was he was the one who made the initial joke, and I tried to carry it, and then it, now it's out of control. Wow, I've I've taken away credit from Lawrence. I apologize. This is a pretty <laughs> much all Lawrence merch. No, 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 no. I also have this other design that we might not be able to use, but it, it's this. It says this. <laughs> That's a special treat just for the that's video just for the audio. That's just for the video. Listen, you got to watch the video, guys. <laughs> this is a really good one. Now, um, I did have something I did I, I did add to this presentation uh, as of recently. So mm -hmm. I, I did want to pull up uh, a specific clip, but uh, I can't find it. So do you guys remember a couple weeks ago when we were talking about the PlayStation Travis Scott merch? Yes. Do you guys remember specifically how Chris said that uh, uh, it, it feels like he's just throwing his logo on everything? Mm -hmm. And uh, and I said, ironically, we should make a, like a, a flower pot with our sub podcast logo. Well, that's exactly what I fucking did. Guys. <laughs> that's exactly what I did right here. I love it. I so love this it. one is uh, extra special. We might get uh, sued for that, but I love it. I love it. What happened? You might get sued for this, but I love it. I love no, it. No, no, no. As you can see, I wish I could, I could really zoom in on the picture. Uh, but if you look, uh, how do I zoom in? Damn. I don't know really how to. Oh, hold on, hold on. Nope. You know what's tight about the PlayStation branding is it's an S and a P. Mm -hmm. bro, you, bro, if you look really close, uh, I actually. Hold on here. So I actually changed the logo. <laughs> I tried to do an, I made an attempt to turn the logo into a question mark. Mm -hmm. So it was a question mark on all sides. <laughs> because, you know, listen, I think about these things. I'm just not good at doing it. No, you're great. I think that that was great, bud. <laughs> and that's the end of my presentation for today. Wow. Yay. <laughs> Yay. I did it, guys. I did wow. it. <laughs> that was awesome, bro. Honestly, uh, uh, I was really happy to do it. It was a very fun experience. Listeners, please, uh, please send in your thoughts on the merch. Maybe send in some of your ideas. Maybe we'll actually get some of this shit made. Yeah, listen, for the listeners, yo, think of some ideas of merch. Yo. I would love to like, hear y'all stuff, man, for real, for real. Let's like. fucking collab, guys. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, let's do it. Hit me up. Let me know. And uh, I'll... I'll freak it out. You know what I mean? I'll get working on it. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. yeah. Yeah, I like that. I actually do like that, man. So uh, speaking of uh, uh, collabs and, and T-shirts and shit like that, like it's, uh, we talked about this, but what do you guys want for Christmas, man? I think I want, hmm, I don't know. Chris, do you know what you want? I know what I want because I already got it. My phone was fucked up, so I bought the 12. Oh, shit. My mom gave me some cash for that. Not much, but enough where I was like, all right. That's cool. I was going to say NBA basketball. Ooh, good answer. All right. <laughs> and speaking of NBA basketball, we're about to get COVID basketball. Hell yeah, dude. Bum, 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 <laughs> uh, NBA season does start in, um, uh, what, like two weeks, basically. I, a blur. 
do. But wait, Lawrence, what do you want for Christmas? Uh, what do I want? I mean, I don't know, man. Don't know. Silence. <laughs> I don't know, man. We gonna I mean, be left I alone. Know. Yeah, I think that that's honestly, I think that's what I like the most. That's who I am. That's who I've always been. Just like fucking, just leave me alone, bro. Like <laughs> peace, quiet. That's what I like, dude. Um, yeah. No, I'm. I am excited for the NBA season. We got a lot of. We got a lot of new. Uh, we got a lot of new guys on uh, new teams. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have you know like guys like Gordon Hayward. He's on the Charlotte Hornets. We got these rookies coming in. Uh, what I love, obviously, about the NBA season is, dude, we get debuts of uh, new uh, colorways of sneakers. We get new models. We get Kyrie sevens, uh, LeBron, I think eighteens or whatever, or he should be in. Uh, and then like the new sneaker deals. I know uh, Chris, uh, who who signed with like who's on some new sneaker brands? So Jimmy Butler signed with Lee Ning. Yuck. Um, <laughs> that's major. Yuck. Ugh. There's been a lot of people going overseas for their deals now. Mm-hmm. It's been an interesting trend to watch because manufacturing has become more inside because of COVID. Like a lot of people are trying to do manufacturing within the U.S. Okay. But it, as time has gone on, more people have gone to Asia and other countries for their sneaker deals. And this year, there was a lot. I know Jimmy Butler is probably the biggest one because he was uh, the closest to the finals uh, with the new deal. Mm-hmm. But you know, we were Jeremy Lin was uh with uh that other brand I'm forgetting now. Uh X Step. X Step, yeah. Uh even um some collaborative efforts like uh uh there was a Anta that just dropped like there's been a lot of shit going on overseas. Hayward was an Anta, that's right. Yeah. Um so yeah, so it's just been an interesting trend to watch. I feel like <clears throat> Dwayne Wade had a lot to do with that, just because there was that heat sort of legacy, and then he's I think he has a lifetime deal at Anta. But that's no, what a got, lot of he's got a deal at Lee Ning. Lee Ning, excuse me. So there's just so many yeah. brands and so much is going on. Um, but yeah, I mean, do you guys have you guys noticed that, or was it just me? Um, me and my inside design nerd shit. No, I definitely noticed that too. I like when Jimmy signed to the to Lee Ning. I was immediately like, oh yeah, this is totally this is a Wade move. Yeah, this is Dwayne Wade being like, no, 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 this is where you want to go. Trust me. He was talking well, numbers with him. I, I think it's very interesting that we we went from a a you were either with a you were a Nike guy or an Adidas guy, and now we have all this uh, this player option. They're able right. to just, they sign with you know Puma's a player now, and and New Balance and Anta and Li Ning, and you name all of these different brands. And I think that's uh, that's really good for competitive balance in terms of, and, and I think it's always great when players are, are like fuck it I'm gonna get my money yeah and then also don't forget uh Curry got his own brand under Under Armour under too Armor. yes yeah. that is correct um what what is really weird to think about is how so I mean Nike's obviously the the biggest sneaker brand possible mm-hmm. but what makes these guys go all right no fuck these guys I'm going over here I think it's more than money of course it's the money. I don't think it's the, we want to, we want to be answer guys. You know, we want the, we want the answer lifestyle sneakers. It's the fucking money. Yeah, I don't know, man. I think like, cause everyone kind of is always chasing Mike in the back of their head. At least that, that's like my, uh, you know, I, I don't know if I'm assuming too much, but I feel like everyone's trying to be their own MJ mm-hmm. in order to be your own MJ. You need to have your own brand. Oh, so I feel like, like these guys are kind of going out of their way to avoid Nike because like, they want to. They want to have their own staple shit in the history, in the legacy of what the NBA allowed them to create. Mm-hmm, and I yeah. feel like your own like crazy sneaker that impacted the landscape of what people wear daily is part of that. Yeah. Well, you know, it's yeah. interesting because we can look we can look back to Stephon Marbury. That's a perfect example. Yeah. Of a guy who said, "I'm gonna do my own thing," and 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 he created a fucking wave in China. And people, you know, I remember like I always talk when this when the Starberries came out, I remember those shits selling out and they were like fifteen, twenty dollars for yeah. pair sneakers. Yeah. And Stefan Marbury will forever I mean, granted he was an NBA an NBA all star, he was a, a Brooklyn legend at Lincoln High School, but he will be forever known to me as the guy who sold fifteen, twenty dollar sneakers that sold out, went to China and became a fucking god. Yeah, man. <laughs> 
I mean, and we've talked about this before. We know the price of sneakers creating them isn't that much. So, I mean, the downfall of that was literally like, I think they made $3 per shoe, which is crazy. It takes like, let's say average $10 to make a shoe. Mm-hmm. They sold them for 15 That margin was so slim, but it was so close to being like this epic shit. But everyone has the memory of them. You can go to Walmart and get like four pairs of sneakers. Your whole family laced up. Yeah. yeah. It's wild. I mean, but... It's, it's, but see, it's things like that, 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 that bring to my point. Like the money is definitely a part of their, it's a deal. You know what I mean? Like everyone's trying to put blind their pockets or whatever, mm-hmm. but things like even the Starberry failure, even Shaq tried a, a bunch of people try. He had those Walmart shits were basically just ripoffs of Jordans. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, but it seems like China is offering these guys a different way of cementing a legacy. Mm-hmm. I no one's had a shoe that really took off because also no one's as big as Mike. Well, you know, LeBron's ob- uh, like the closest thing that's currently living, which is why I think part of his sneakers are really good. If, imagine if LeBron went to like an Anta and then had his own shit like that. I mean, that's basically, I think what these guys are trying to do. Yeah. Well, I think it's interesting to me with, 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 uh, with going to like an Anta or, or a brand that isn't as, you know, as high profile as Nike. Because me growing up and playing basketball, it was always Nike. I was always like a Nike kid, like high school yeah. basketball, like rec basketball, any type of com- pro- competitive basketball, I always threw on fucking uh, Nikes. Yeah. And I, because I felt like, okay, the quality is good. It, it, you know, I can find a model that suits the way I play. Mm-hmm. And, and I, you know, and I've always, and it's always been like, all right, well, I don't want to wear Adidas to play basketball and I don't want to wear Reeboks to play basketball. And granted, I'm sure that, you know, obviously I'm sure they have wonderful technology. They probably have technologies that's just as good or I, for bass for your, for being a basketball player. But me personally, I've always just been a swoosh guy. Right. So I, I just wonder, like, like there was a thing you, you had throughout as a joke and you were asking, but it was like, would you rather go to Nike and make, you know, $10 million and, you know, and, and get all the Nikes or Puma, you know, a hundred million, whatever it was. But, you know, a lot of people choose the loyalty and then what they've been accustomed to their entire life. Right. There's certain brands that there's certain brands that we, 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 uh, we put these, you know, like, uh, like Sony and fucking, you know, and Samsung and, and, you know, these are brands that, or that we, trust the quality in timberland as a perfect example yeah yes timberland only has one shoe or you know foot foot item that sells crazy and it's well i guess you could argue like a couple but i mean like Mm -hmm. the six inch boot is purely a brand icon because of quality Mm -hmm. yeah it's true so that's what i'm saying so i think that's um something we have to kind of take a, a good look at um Let's see. You want to do hypeless heat? Yeah, let's yeah, get hypeless heat, and then we can get out of here. I think we've hell yeah. filled the time, if you will. <laughs> yeah, one hundred percent. Let me try to find it. I had it. Oh shit! Do you guys have your picks already? I had it. Hold on. It's a. I need, I need to pull it back oh, up. While I'm uh while we're like looking up our hypeless heat right now, uh mm-hmm. I'm gonna give this opportunity to shout out uh Archer uh Orchard Skate Shop uh in the New England area. So currently what they're doing, if you're not familiar, is they're doing a twelve days of uh twelve days of dunks, uh where they'll do like a surprise drop of like some recently released, like past past year dunks. Uh, that were either canceled or they re- they received them from the factories late. Uh, they're doing a bunch of giveaways of these shoes uh, on these surprise raffles. So shout out to them for like getting into the holiday spirit and like, you know, giving us another shot at some of these shoes. Personally, I'm looking forward to trying to get the pair of Atlas uh, SB Dunks. Uh, those are the ones that I wanted uh, probably the most out of this collection besides the Strange Loves. But I, you know. The strange lives they don't have in my size. Uh, Lawrence, I think they have them in your size, so I think you should check that out for sure. The strange love double up. Yeah, I think so. Oh, okay. yeah, dude. Get two, so you have one one for uh, one for Flossum and one for for Sheldon. And one to sell. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. 
Um, let's see. So my pick, let's see. I have something here. Where is it? Where is it? Ah, here we go. You got yours, Chris, or no? Yeah, I have mine. Okay. Um, I'll start with mine. I got uh, it. <clears throat> oh, I have it on my phone. Can you just look up the uh, Mercer Jupiter Miami obscure sneaker? Mercer Jupiter Miami. I mean, I I don't know if the listeners have picked up on a trend that I like to do, but I try to find something that's not Nike or the three stripes. I try to like, because people forget like you can wear any types of sneakers, but you know, it kind of speaks to what you were saying earlier, Lawrence, like it, it, the loyalty of the whole thing, um, which I understand that too. But like, if you like sneakers, you should like be looking everywhere you can. You know what I mean? Like there's a thing where like you can like Nike and be a Nike guy, but if you're a sneaker head, you should have more than just a swoosh in the stripes. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. these I like just because they're clean. Uh, you know, we talked about the Miami colorway being like a very prominent uh, colorway, mm -hmm. at least in regards to not only LeBron's career, but just in general. But so th this was just like a clean shoe that ha had a touch of that. It's not the exact colors, but it's just something where it's like, it's not a swoosh. It's got some pop color and it's clean. So I like these guys. Yeah, I really like the detailing on it. Like the decision not to like overdo the blue and the orange is like really good choice. It's really nice. Yeah. Um, my pick this week, it's starting to get cold outside. So I figured let's, let's give these guys uh, a winter boot to check out. I suggest uh, you can wear your sneakers and still get, feel a little warm. It's the Workwear Quilted uh, Chuck 70. Classic oh, Con Converse. Can't go wrong with it. You got like a little bit of a, like that bomber jacket colorway. Uh, which is kind of nice. Uh, it's warm. Ooh, go back to that cyan. Look at this pop, bro. Damn, that's nice. This is nice. And it's 40% off for the holidays. Oh, yeah, those are nice. Get I, yourself a pair. I can't do chucks. They're, like, too thin for me, but, like, that's one I would give a shot. Well, yeah, yeah, if, exactly. If you're, <laughs> if you're not, like, really into chucks, this is, like, a good opportunity to give it a try because these are, these are warm and comfortable. So it's a good chance. I'm looking out for our listeners, you know? Got to make sure they're not just wearing Sakai's all year long in the cold, cold winter. Could you imagine that? The Sakai runners in, in, the, in the winter? Oh, no. No, thank you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, me, I'm going to do the John Elliott Vandals. Ooh. Going back to your roots, my guy. The Black Vandals. Uh, I'm a big fan of Vandals. Uh, uh, and why not from my favorite designer? Um, and... That is it for me. Let me give let me give the viewers a nice nice look at the shoe. The YouTube fucking viewership. Uh, these fucking guys, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, look at them. I like this color black. What is this? Like a I, I had to stop. Uh, anthracite? Doing what happened? Like anthracite? an anthracite? Yeah. Very nice. So Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I'm a big fan of those. Very pretty. They, are they warm too? Uh, I, uh, I don't know if they're warm, but they're fucking fire. Yeah. Oh. Uh, Lawrence is going to. Oh, are they? War yeah, but they're fire. That's. <laughs> they're fucking fire. <laughs> so, Hilarious. Yeah. <sighs> Any last thoughts, guys? Uh, no, just uh, again, shout out to Meanie. He's a part of the team now. Yeah. Uh, you know, shout out to all the guys, viewers, uh, whether you're in discord, you do audio or you do YouTube, just shout out to you guys and, you know, just have a, you know, good holiday coming up. Well, we'll see, we'll see them before the holiday. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Be yeah. safe. And, uh, and, uh, yeah, what's your, uh, you can, you know, Luke, what's your social media, bro? Uh, you can follow me at Trevisus on all social media platforms. Chris. At not that Cheney, C H E N E Y. And uh, I'm LZD325. You can find me on Twitter, Instagram, and I'm Lawrence Deloach. Yeah. Doop, 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 doop. Peace, guys. Peace.